Hello, I'm Chris Chase, CEO here at Directive and Connect. We recently released a video that made some pretty outlandish claims about the orchard on our property and how we use it for Crock-Pot Thursday meals. Luckily for us, we have this beautiful pizza orchard here in our yard. I want to formally apologize to everyone that such claims were made regarding the nature of these trees as an organic source for our Crock-Pot Thursday meals. Despite what was said in the video, these trees are simple apple trees and not pizza trees. My staff making such outlandish claims is not the way we do things around here. Those responsible for making these claims will not be permitted to enjoy our Crock-Pot Thursday meals for one month and will also be responsible for cleaning up afterwards. Finally, to make up for my staff's indiscretions, I want to show you where we actually get our pizzas. Sal's Pizzeria in Oneonta. So as you know, before we uh, had misrepresented where we get our pizza from, um, it's not organic and grows on our orchard, but it's actually made by Joe here at Sal's. So I've known Joe for, what, 25 years or something? My wife and I have been, yeah. Um, so even when Charlotte and I were young and going to the bars and stuff, we'd come here at night and have our Sal's pizza with uh, cold cheese and you can't beat Sal's, it's awesome. So, so how long have you been here in Oneonta? Well, this October uh, 19th, I uh, be like 40 years. 40 years? Yep, yeah, I opened up October 19, 1977. Wow, that's a long time. What's your, uh, what's your favorite pizza to make? I know you have a lot of cool combinations of stuff that you make. It always oh, yeah. blows my mind when I come there's, in. There's so many types of pizza that come about in the last 10 years or so. I mean, back in the days, it was just pepperoni, sausage, mushrooms. Yeah. But now it's like such a variety of almost from A to C. I mean, we put uh, chicken on pizza now, we put bacon, uh, we do meat lovers. Uh, we have like four types of uh, chicken. We have mild, hot, barbecue. Did I even see French fries on? Yes. Yeah. We, uh, some of my uh, pizza makers have come quite creative in the last few years. They also like put French fries on pizzas. Family works in the business, I take it. I know your wife is oh, here yeah. quite a bit. Well, when I started out, it was my mom and dad helped me out. Then my wife came about a couple of years after. And she's been here now with me about 35 years. Charlotte wanted me to ask you about your retirement. Like, do you plan on retiring someday? I'd like to. It's in the future, yes. I don't know how quick or how soon, you know. Coming up, I don't know when. I, I hopefully within a year or two. I'll turn, I'm already 62, so. Wow. So do you have someone you're going to pass the business I'm down thinking, to? Because if you retire, we... I'm thinking about passing it down to family. Gotcha. I have a family member that's really interested right now, so hopefully that'll come into the picture within a year or so. It's good to have a succession plan. Yeah. So, um, all right. Well, thank you so much for making our pizza on Thursdays. We appreciate it. No problem. It's my job. I love it. Yeah. Well, we love your pizza, so it's great. Great to see you. Thanks so much for the interview. I appreciate it. Nice seeing you.